Okay, let's be honest here. Finding your first winning product as a beginner seems damn near impossible. I know we all want to make five, six figures a month, drive the cool Lamborghinis, the Maseratis, or at least add another source of income that can pay the bills. Now, while that's all very possible with dropshipping, you got to realize it's not going to happen overnight. But in today's video, you're about to find out exactly how to find your first winning product and how a scrawny 15-year-old, moi, was able to make $3,000 a month in profit. I'm not talking revenue, sales, any of that BS. Profit a month with this product you see right here. What's popping, everybody? What's good? My name is Ethan Dobbins, if you don't already know. Do you guys like my shirt? I mean, it's a Nirvana theme. I'm from Seattle. Kurt Cobain and the boys. I love them to death. I mean, it's a pretty dope shirt, I'm not gonna lie, but let's actually get into talking about this product and how I was able to actually turn this into my first ever winner. So in 2017, when I started dropshipping as a high school sophomore, I really had no idea what I was doing. I advertised probably around eight to 10 products without any success whatsoever. I probably was down at least $1,000 at the time. So one day I was just looking up on AliExpress men's necklaces. I was going through pages upon pages of different necklaces, really trying to find that one that spoke out to me. So before this video commences, if you guys can leave a like, cause you're gonna learn a lot of value in this, I would truly appreciate it. It just lets me know that you guys want more videos. And honestly, in the last video, somebody sent bots after me and they all commented negative things at the same time. And I noticed my dislike ratio went from 16 likes to zero dislikes to like 33 likes to now like 40 dislikes. Oh, I have more dislikes on that video than likes. So somebody's after me. Somebody's trying to silence my family, my YouTube channel. They're trying to get out there and end my YouTube career before it starts. So if you guys can leave a like, I would truly appreciate it. And honestly, whoever did that, suck my... So how exactly did I find this product right here? Did I use product research tools? Did I do Facebook ad keyword research? What did I do to find this amazing product? Well, I didn't do any of that stuff, but because I was selling sports necklaces and chains and all that good stuff, all I did was I went onto AliExpress, I typed up men's necklaces, and I would go through pages upon pages of different necklaces and chains looking for that product that just spoke to me and really caught my eye. And luckily enough, after all of my scavenging, after all of my coal mining, I found my one true diamond. And this diamond right here is in the shape of a bullet and it is such a cool necklace. As you can see, it just has the wow factor to it. If you saw somebody wearing this necklace, like a bullet, it's got a Christian sort of cross going on here. Like there's a lot of stuff in this one necklace and you're like, whoa, 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 okay, stop, pause it. I need to see what's going on here. And I will admit it was probably really lucky for me to find this product because the one thing that really made it stand out is it had this beautiful array of photographs of these products. Like, look at this. This is just Hollywood level stuff. So when I was branding this on my website, it made me look so much more legit because if you have really high quality product photos, then people are gonna believe. They are gonna be convinced that you are the only person that sells this product. To top it all off, I could just use these exact images in my ads. I didn't have to change anything. I didn't have to do nothing to them. And that was probably one of my mistakes because I actually decided to do that. I don't know why. I was an idiot. I was 15. You know, don't ask me questions. But this was my first ever ad. I know it doesn't look amazing. It has this today only 40% off. And honestly, it would just look so much better if all we did was just delete this so if we just got rid of this real quick i mean gosh look how much better it looks it's so much cleaner and facebook doesn't want you to put text on ads so i don't know why i did it i really don't i'm not gonna lie i probably would have made 100k in revenue if all i did was just zoomed in a little more like just did that put it on a facebook ad put it with influencers and it would have sold so much better but the great thing was even though I messed it up with the ad, even though I put the today only 40% off, these were still selling like hotcakes. And I was just losing my mind because I was getting sales in school and I was making money wherever I went. I was like, oh my God. So how exactly do you go about naming this product right here? There's a lot going on. You can do Christian bullet necklace. You can do the Hail Mary necklace. There's a lot of different angles, but what I decided to do, but I decided the best name for this product right here is the Bomb Squad Necklace. Now, I'm not gonna be too hard about myself about the name, but if I did do a more brandable name, like the Christian Bullet Necklace trademark or something along those lines, I know it would've sold better. It would've looked a lot more believable. But I'm gonna give myself a little bit of credit because one thing I did do right is if we go to the AliExpress page, this cost me at the time about $2. I did have a good deal with my supplier and right now it looks like it's $4, but at the time it was costing me about $3 
plus shipping to actually ship these out. So that was my cost of goods. So what I decided to do is I sold them at $24.99. So I'll be making 21 bucks. That's not a bad deal for every single sale of this product. So I tested a bunch of different price points. I did $19.99, I did $22.99, $29.99, but $24.99 seemed to be that happy Goldilocks middle where it just all sort of worked the best. So the next step, how did I advertise this product? Well, I started with Instagram influencers. I was exclusively only targeting the baseball niche because it's a bomb squad necklace. Bomb squad is just a very popular keyword with baseball groups. We love hitting those bombs. If you hit home runs, you're in the bomb squad. So Umpire Hate was one of my biggest influencers at the time. They had about 100K followers and I would pay them around 20 bucks for a 24 hour post. And usually every single time I would get three to four sales. So if you do the math, $80 in sales cost me about $12 for product cost, 20 bucks for the influencer. I'm making a good 50 bucks off of each one of these influencer ads. And to me, 50 bucks as a 15 year old dude, I felt like a millionaire. I felt like Richie Rich out here. I could buy a Lambo, I could pull up to the club, spend that cash. It was happy money for days. And even better, after I started to advertise on Umpire Hate, I had a bunch of these tiny minnow baseball pages hitting me up like, hey man, MLB memes was hitting me up like, yo, do you want a promotion? And as they've grown dramatically at the time, but they were around 300K followers back then. And really, if I just look at baseball, I'll just show you what a typical influencer looked like for me. So bat flip bombs, they all have these same generic logos and they're desperate for money. As you see right here, DM for promo prices. And because of that, I had all the negotiating power in the world. I could get the best deals. And that's what I originally always did. I didn't even touch Facebook ads probably till a month after it started to blow up. Just a quick side note, that was probably the biggest mistake I ever made. For three straight months, this product got me sale after sale after sale, and I was even doing giveaways for this product. It was doing so well for me, but I wanna show you exactly what I did with my Instagram ads and my Facebook ads. So once I started to promote with Facebook ads, as you can see right here, 13,000 likes. Your boy's getting likes out here for days. Time to hit bombs in style, handcraft perfection, our hottest selling chain is stylish and affordable. I could have done a lot better with the ad copy. I know I could have, it's just not amazing. Like who cares that it's affordable or who cares that it's handcrafted really? Cause it doesn't look handcrafted and people don't actually care if it is. So I could have done a lot better with the selling points. But what I do believe I did right was having the 40% off today at the bottom. If I just erased this little section, I think it would have been perfect, but it still did really well. It was doing numbers, 13,000 likes isn't cheap to acquire. Right, so, so far I'll admit I've given you some value bombs we talked about how to find a winning product on aliexpress doing that research we covered what a winning ad looks like i showed you an exact example i showed you how i marketed this product which originally i'll admit was pretty much all influencers then i got into facebook ads but now let's get into why this product worked for me i'll admit it was a little bit of a perfect storm of circumstances and first it had really high quality product photos not a lot of suppliers will actually deliver photos that were that high quality that I could just use for my ads, for Instagram, for anything. It was just a really, really amazing pieces of content that they delivered to me. Next was limited availability. I found this product at such a great time that there was no Amazon suppliers of it. There was no eBay suppliers. And nowadays I'll admit that's nearly impossible. But back then that was a huge factor. If someone really liked my necklace and they were trying to check if other websites were selling it, there were no other ones. So that helped me so much in generating $50,000 in revenue. And honestly, the smartest thing that I did with this product is I didn't just have one product page. So for the baseball traffic that I generated, I sent them all to a page called the Bomb Squad Necklace. But I realized that obviously, if I wanted to send other athletes, let's say basketball players, football players, they're not gonna buy a necklace that says Bomb Squad Necklace. So what I did was I re-imported the product onto Oberlo and I renamed it into a basketball themed keyword and a football themed keyword. So I had a different name for this product. So for football players, I named it the Hail Mary necklace because it makes sense. Hail Mary, football play, and it did really well. It actually became my second sort of stream of income. And I will admit probably the biggest factor in being able to scale to 50,000 was having multiple audiences interested because if you are selling a product that's for everyone, then you can market to so many different people, have so many different different marketing angles and you can scale it. You can't just really scale a product to five, six figures a month if you're only appealing to one audience. You need to have multiple audiences. If you're on Facebook ads, you need to have multiple ad sets that are killing it with influencers. If you can find a product that's very general, a product that really blew up last year was this 
spine sort of product that uh, if you put it on, it's like a back brace, helps you with your spine and realigning your back and having better posture. That's a product for literally everyone. It's very generic. It's a general problem solver. So you can market it to a bunch of different people. So with my product, it obviously wasn't that general, but it was general enough for me to be able to target two totally different sets of athletes. You got the baseball players and you got the football players. So that was probably the smartest decision I made, but I did make a lot of mistakes on the way. And I'll admit straight up, the biggest mistake I made because I was 15 years old, I was finally making money, I never had money before, is I decided to buy a bunch of shoes. I spent like a thousand dollars worth into shoes that I thought were cool online. I went on to a big shopping spree and I would say that's the biggest mistake I made because you want to be reinvesting into your business. I know when you start to make money, you're like, oh my god, these shoes are so cool. I mean, look at these. They got fruity pebbles on the bottom. They're so dope. I spent $500 on these shoes. Can you believe that? Can you believe how stupid I was? $500 on shoes, such a waste of money. Honestly, guys, I think once uh, you start to make money, once you start scaling, please do me a favor, reinvest it back into your business. Now, while having fancy shoes is great, they're not gonna make you money, baby, and I want you guys to be able to invest into your business and make more and more and more. You should be investing into the stock market, buy some shares of companies that you really like. Don't just buy materialistic stuff. That's the one big thing I learned. At 15, I was very materialistic. Nowadays, I can't say I really buy anything unless it's for business, and that's one of the shifts you have to make. If you really wanna get to six, seven figures, you have to reinvest all of your profits back into your business. I swear my room is haunted. Every single day, that door keeps, there's like a ghost in my room. If I don't, if you guys don't hear from me in the next week, just know that there was a ghost that haunted my room that's trying to kill me. But I guess that'll wrap it up. We covered how to find winning products, how to advertise them, how to scale to that next level by split testing different ads, by split testing different prices, by split testing different product pages. A lot of unique stuff that I know not a lot of people are talking about. So if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to leave a like. I also have a course coming out called Dropshipping Empire Academy. It actually just did come out. It's been up for about a week and it has all my best strategies, all my best systems for scaling from $0 a month to five to six figures a month, even as a beginner. Now, I know you guys don't care, so I won't go on and on and on about it. But all I wanted to say is if you did enjoy this video, I am aiming for 100 likes. If you guys can help me hit that, I would be so, so grateful because I do put a lot of effort into these videos. And I guess that'll just wrap it all up. So I will see you in the next video.